Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks defeated the LA Kings 4-0 at Rogers Arena in Bruce Boudreaux's coaching debut with the team. Let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing. I'm Canuck Clay, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and if you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. And as always, this vlog is brought to you by Perform and Transform, personal training and weight loss. Sign up now for a free seven day trial using the link in my video description and by Van City Experts Real Estate Group. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. So I was at the game, a really fun game, as you can imagine, some good vibes in the crowd, especially as the Canucks started to, to score goals and build their lead. You had the chance of Bruce, there it is. Bruce, there it is, and a nice throwback to Womp, there it is, a song that was popular when I was a high school teen. In fact, uh, I've had two or three people reach out to me and ask me if I'm going to do uh, a parody song on that. So maybe that's something I'll get to in the next couple of days. But let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing. What I liked, right away, I noticed how aggressive the Canucks were. And it was on their four checks, sending two guys in. It was on their power play, passing with more authority. It was on the penalty kill, way more aggressive on the penalty kill. It was battling in the neutral zone, battling in the offensive zone. You simply noticed that the Canucks skated harder, skated faster, and were much more aggressive and much more assertive. I love Thatcher Demko's game. 31 saves, nothing too crazy or spectacular, but a solid outing, and he earns his first Shout out of the season. It's crazy how it happens in Boudreaux's first game, whereas Demko couldn't get a shout out under Travis Green. But I like Thatcher Demko's game. I like the play of JT Miller. One goal, one assist. Again, leading out there. That's why he's been the best Canucks forward this season. I also like Brock Bester's game. Also one goal, one assist. His goal was a little bit flukier than, say, Miller's goal. But still, nice to see Bester have a two-point effort. And I've been saying all along that Bester and Petey are the guys that are going to uh, hopefully benefit under Boudreaux's emphasis on offense. Tanner Pearson had a good game. He had one assist, but he had six goal, uh, six shots, not six goals. He had six shots and four hits, so that's a pretty big game. And Luke Shen, in 17 minutes of ice time, had seven hits, which is which is a, a massive number. So that that's really good. And actually, the Canucks out hit the LA Kings 31-17. to 17. So that, again, speaks to their aggressiveness and assertiveness. Special teams. Canucks are great. Two for four on the power play. Two for two on the penalty kill. That's a CCSTS. Clay's cumulative special team stat of 150%. 100% perfect on the penalty kill. 50% effective on the power play. Uh, again, adding up to 150. So you had to like that in the Canucks game. And one another thing I noticed that I liked... Listen to these forward pairings for the penalty kill. Mott and Miller, makes sense. Dickinson and Lamico, okay. Horvat and Pearson, maybe more at even strength. And then Pedersen and Pakosen. Granted, it was at the end of the first LA Kings power play, but they were out there and they, they created a scoring chance and that's what caused the penalty shot for Pedersen. Unfortunately, he missed, but still, it was only because he was out there. So Pedersen and Pakosen, you wouldn't expect them to be on the penalty kill, I guess it sort of makes sense. You had your four centers out there, uh, one on each pairing in Miller, Dickinson, Horvat, and Pedersen. But um, if Boudreaux wants to play his best players in all situations, maybe we will see PD more on the penalty kill. We'd love to see him score that goal on that penalty shot, but he didn't miss by much. And overall, I thought PD had a good game. So that's what I liked. Aggressiveness, special teams. I like Demko, Besser, Miller, Pearson, Shen. What I didn't like, well, this is kind of nitpicking after a 4-0 win. I would love PD to score on that penalty shot just to help him with his confidence. Um, I also thought the Canucks were a tiny bit disjointed. As aggressive as they were in the first 10 minutes, they are a bit disjointed. But again, I'm I'm splitting hairs here. And I thought Tucker Pullman had another rough game. He just seems to struggle in his own zone and always seems to make a play more difficult than it needs to be. But again, I'm completely nitpicking here because it was a wonderful 4 nothing victory for the Canucks. One other thing. I'm not saying the Canucks are going to run the table and win all remaining of their 56 games, but 
it was kind of night and day the way that they played under Travis Green, passive, stagnant, slow, versus how they played tonight under Bruce Boudreau. Aggressive, assertive, fast, uh, you know, initiating as opposed to uh, uh, being proactive as, instead of being reactive. Now, again, I don't know if this was a one-off. They, maybe they're trying to press the coach. Maybe they all had good vibes. They knew it couldn't get any worse. Whatever the reason was, it was still nice to see. And as I've talked about many times over the past couple of days, Boudreaux, in the regular season, he's a proven winner. Of the 11 full seasons he's coached, 10 of them between Washington, Anaheim, and Minnesota, 10 of his 11 full seasons, his team has made the playoffs. Granted, they don't do so well when they get to playoffs, but let's not worry about that just yet. So what's fascinating, my one other thing, you guys, is does this one victory, this one dominant win, does it make you rethink the Canucks playoff chances? Does it actually give you a tiny bit more hope that they might make the playoffs? Now, granted, they are 9, 15, and 12. They are six games under 500. They have 12 games left in December. So even if they want to get to 500, not even a playoff spot, but even if they want to get to 500 by the end of the month, they'd have to go 9-3 and three in these next 12 games. 9-3, and three, that's 75% winning percentage. That's pretty tight, but that's what the Canucks are up against. However, Bruce Boudreaux was saying all the right things in his media availability, both this afternoon and in post-game. He sounds very likable. He has a great sense of humor. Sounds very humble. Yet he's very confident in himself and he's confident in his players. He said that he looks at the roster and on paper the Vancouver Canucks do indeed have good players. So if tonight was any indication, this was a great start to the Bruce Boudreaux era and uh, a lot of things to like about what the team did tonight. So whether you're at the game like me or where you're watching from home, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like and tell me one other thing. Put in the comments below and don't forget at the end of the month, I will draw a winner for a $50 gift certificate to VanBase to, um, f uh, for from everyone, from sorry, from all the people that enter in the contest and you enter by simply writing what you liked, what you didn't like, and one other thing. I did a draw yesterday for my November winter winner. I will have to contact that person and then I'll do a draw at the end of December as well. Shout out to my hero members, Nux fan number 29, Justin Credible, Lucas Gates, and Andrew Chang. Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shannon Hollingworth, Carol Bovenlander, and HSM Fangirl Gaming. Thanks for your support as always, and thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You are listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos on the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, become a member of this channel if you'd like to, leave a comment down below if you like to. What'd you like? What didn't you like? And tell me one other thing. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great night and a great day tomorrow or today, whenever you're watching this. God bless and go can I go.